Here again is the Salamis tablet. Notice that there are two tables on the tablet. We're going to use the upper table for exponents and the lower table for fractional parts. Of Let's do number six on page 102 of Kojima's book. We start by entering 63.25. Now this is 63.25, but I want this to be the unit line, so I have to move the decimal place up 2, so I'm going to put an exponent of 2 on 10. Now I put 7.64 here, 5, 6, 7, point six four, seven point six four. I'm sorry. Now, right now the point is here. I move it up one by putting an exponent of one. Okay, now what I do is I, well first I need to add the exponents because that's how, what you do when you multiply. So I've got three, which I can leave as this or put it in our normal representation. Now what I do is I identify from the top down items on lines, and by the way I've got two on this line, so maybe what I could do is double uh, what I'm going to copy over here. So, first, it's on this line, so this is going to be my unit now. So I would start here, and I'm going to double, so I'm just going to put two pebbles there, and two here, and two here, and then I'm going to put four here, these, then I'm going to put two, four, and then two. Let's check. Two, 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 four, two, four, two. Okay, so we've done those. Now let's get this consolidate here. So these two can promote one. But that gives me 5 here, so I can make that 5 there. Uh, this is 4, so I can put 1 up there and 1 over here. These two cancel. 2 over here and 2 here. Okay. Next, I've got a 1 here. So I'm going to use this as the unit line and copy from here. So one there, one there, one there, two here, two here. And this is off the paper, but we'll keep it and see what happens with it. Okay, checking. Okay, registering. This can be promoted. Promoted. This is a three. Uh, these can be promoted. This is a three. This can come over here and get rid of one of these. Okay. Uh, this one is a negative, so we're going to use this line as the unit. So we're going to, but we're going to copy in a negative. On the negative side, and these are too far off. I can't get them, so that's it. This is four, so I can promote here. Put one down here. Okay, this one can. These two can be a minus five. This and this cancel. This is three. These can be promoted. This is three. This can be promoted. Done. Okay. Now, I don't have any more pebbles on the line, so what I have to do is double this side, this number and have this number. So doubling this number, all of these are halves of the line above them, so I just have to move them up. So I've doubled this number, 
now I have to have this number. Now this number is 5 times this line, so in order to have it, I have to replace it with 2 and a half. This has two pebbles, so to have it, I just take away one. Also here, this is a 5, so I have to replace it with 2 and a half. This one is on a line, so to have it, I just have to move it down. This one I have to replace with 2 and a half. 2 and a half. Now I can cancel these two. And I can promote these. And this is 3. Okay. So now, let's do this. So I'm going to copy to here. Oops. This is the unit line, unit line. So I'm just a direct copy. Checking. Okay. That's done. Registering. This is four, so one, one, take these away. This is three, so one up here, two over here. This one and this one can cancel that one. This two I can promote. These cancel. Uh, these cancel. And this one and this one I can replace over here. And this goes here. Next. Okay. So copying with this is the unit line. Here, here, and here. Here, here, here. Here, and here. Checking. This is the unit line. So. Right. This one and this one cancel. Move this over. These cancel. These cancel. These cancel. Let's go over here. These cancel. Last one. This is the unit line. So here, here, and here. Here, here, and here, and this is too small to put down here. So let's see. Unit line. Yes, yes. Can copy. Done. Now this is. These two can promote. This is three, so I can represent it this way. This is two. This one I can represent there. Now. I need to do something here. How about if I put a zero pair here, then I can, this is four, this is eight, this is three, this is two, and this is three. And the X one is three, so if I start here, I go one, two, three. So the answer is 483.23. What would happen if I multiplied largest fractional number by itself. Here we have 0.99999 times itself. First thing to notice is that we can get rid of all these center ones because they cancel. Multiplying. This is the unit line for this one. So we just copy this. That's done. Now we've got a negative here. So this is going to be the unit line. So this is going to be a negative down here. And this one's so far off we are not going to be able to register it. So that's done. So in order to read this, we're going to have to put in zero pairs. And this is 0.99998. Check it on your calculator.